Good morning guys. Welcome to sunny Telford in Shropshire. Not. It's absolutely grey, overcast. Wind's blowing, it's miserable. Just about to dip the pool. I've just put the thermometer in, it's just floating around. I'll get it out in a minute. Now, if you can remember on my last video I told you I'd taken the easy pod out and I just now I'm just running the sieve and I've got the backy shower up and running and I mentioned out cloudy that the water had gone with me stirring everything up and I was worried that maybe it wouldn't clear properly well guess what it's coming fine it's uh, it's just got a slight tinge murkiness to it hardly anything I can see right to the bottom of the pool again um, obviously it's uh, I'll show you what I've done over here to help clear it. This is this is the backy shower I put in. Now originally all three layers were alpha grog right to the top. I took a bit of the alpha grog out, just a bit, and put some matting in the top just to help catch any of the fines. Um, seems to be working well. I mean that's been going two days. It's not overflowed or nothing, working perfectly. Uh, it's obviously helping definitely to clean the, the fines out. My plan is once that's the pool's crystal clear, I'm going to take the matting out, put all the alpha grog back in. Uh, if it if it messes up and starts to cloud again, might be that I'll just leave that like it is. That top layer, just half full of alpha grog with the uh, matting in the top and use it as a, a pre-filter to go before it goes into the the backy shower. At the end of the day, I don't want um, I don't want all muck and mess in the backy shower, obviously. It's, uh, it's not what that's meant for. Um, fish have definitely slowed down on their feeding now. I think it's uh, possibly time to get the old wheat germ out well I don't know about get the wheat germ out I've got to go and buy some so looking a bit mucky here because everything's piled down here from doing the extension I'll just get the uh, I'll just get the pond thermometer out let's have a look what the water is I don't think it's going to be very high let's have a look what the temperature is You can see there, guys. That's, uh, it's higher than I thought, actually. Nine degrees, so, yeah. Time to stop feeding the normal summer food and switch to the wheat chair. And then, obviously, once they go to the bottom and they stop feeding completely, I won't put no wheat germ in at all. They're, they're nice and, as you can see, they're nice and healthy. There's no problem with them. So there's some, some nice big fish down there, like I've said before, sort of Japanese, that, uh, that Ochiba and that um, Mitsuri there, those are two Japanese I've just bought, those are the ones I said that, um, that Ochiba is what probably, probably if it comes up it's probably a good 10 inches long now believe it or not, what I bought in Earlier on this year, in the summer, he was he was only a bit of a fingerling. It's obviously they, they haven't been feeding on a lot in there, and they've gone in the pool, and he's been tanking the weight on. But anyway, guys, uh, so I'm, I'm really, really happy to say the sieve is doing really, really well. You can see the clarity of the water, and um, you know that's just just running the sieve and that backy shower. Uh, I do intend, once that shed's moved over there, inside the shed, all this is going to go inside the shed apart from the backy shower, and I'm going to do, um, I'm going to make my own moving bed, um, dead simple, I'm just going to get a large tub, uh, aeration stone in the bottom, uh, probably something similar to that one, put that in the bottom, fill it with K1 media, um, 
and just have a moving bed just to help with the keeping the water purity nice so that's my plans um, it's just horrible now isn't it you know autumn's here our hobby is just going to slow down and stop and then we'll all be just looking forward to spring arriving so that we can get back out to our fish and our pools uh, I didn't get the chance to make the covers I keep, each year I say I'm going to make some polycarbonate covers to go over here still haven't done it I need to um, just just to sort of help stop the really cold winds and rain going into the pool and chilling the pool down even more um, a koi there ladies and gentlemen that's a black koi it's not a it's not a common carp or anything just in case you're thinking if you turn him over he's got a lovely white belly yeah so like i say it's, it's getting miserable now the winds are blowing out here and not nice at all so on that note ladies and gentlemen I'm gonna bid you uh, farewell for today I might get one more video in before the uh, bad weather comes but, uh, it's getting there it's getting there very slowly it's I've, I've, I've been enjoying doing it to be honest it's uh, it keeps you busy keeps your mind occupied and every time you do a little bit you look at it and you, you think oh that looks better and that looks better so I'll just keep plodding along nice and steady ticking a job off at a time anyhow guys thanks for watching um see you soon um, take care bye